Hey guys, welcome back to our video, our channel. It is Friday. It is evening time. I will confess it is evening time on a Tuesday, but you guys won't see this video until Friday. Um, I had a, quite a few people ask me about Jonah, so I thought I would come on and just kind of do like an explanation video, an introduction video about Jonah. Um, a lot of people, whenever I posted his last feeding video, wanted to know how he is a drinking wet because they knew he was an Ivita and they do not come as a drinking wet. So they wanted to know how he is a drinking wet. And I had four or five people ask me. So first, I will say happy Friday. I hope everyone is having a great day. It is hot here again today. It is going to be hot Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Most likely into Saturday and Sunday. And hopefully we see a little bit of a cool down next week into the upper 90s. Which in my opinion is still hot because I do not prefer the hot weather. Anyways, back to Jonah. Jonah is an Ivita silicone baby. I got him off of Etsy. He was a trade from someone who was getting him done as a custom. Um, I didn't know anything about him except for that he was full body and that he would have rooted hair and he would be painted. That is all I knew. I did not even know that he was an Ivita silicone until I got him. So I did the trade and I waited and the person that traded with me just had the artist ship Jonah to my house. So when he was finished, she emailed me and said that she was shipping him out. He showed up and when I did a box opening, I don't even know, I can't even remember you guys if I did a box opening with him or not. I can't even remember. But I opened him up and inspected him and um, he did not have a COA. He had a birth certificate card that was from the artist. And I had seen other people's videos um, about the Ivita silicones and of course they were the videos of basically people being displeased with people who had Ivita silicones. Well, y'all know me by now. I don't care what kind of doll you have, how much it costs, where you got it from. Um, I think you should have the right to own whatever doll you want, no matter where it comes from. But anyways, I didn't know Jenna was an Ivita until I did a little bit of research and found out that yes, he indeed was an Ivita, that this artist purchases these dolls, paints them and roots them, and then hikes up their price and sells them. Which is, I understand because, you know, painting for the supplies and the time and the labor and so forth and so on. Anyways, no, he was not a drink and wet whenever we got him. He is an anatomically correct male, so he will always be a male doll. Um, I had watched some YouTube videos on people doing their DIY silicone uh, drinking wet systems, and I was intrigued. So I started watching any video that I could get, you know, my hands on about um, installing a drinking wet system into a silicone. And Jonah's mouth was opened already whenever I got him. I know that when you do get these dolls from like Amazon or AliExpress or whatever other um, website, the mouths are not open. So the artist did open Jonah's mouth and she made it big enough for him to take a regular size pacifier and bottle. So I watched videos, lots of YouTube videos, and I came upon a channel and the channel's name was Lexi Rose. And she does still post videos, but very sporadically. And she had a Ivita silicone, I believe hers was a 23 inch one that she made into a drink and wet. And she showed all of the supplies that she used 
and I basically went off of her video and again her channel is called Lexi Rose and so I got aquarium well she used aquarium pump you know the fish aquarium pump line I got um, you know the refrigerator line that you use for the water for your ice maker I bought that line and I bought I believe it was four inches in diameter and it was an eight foot roll then I got a kebab skewer which is used to push through the silicone and then I also got a 14 I believe it was not 14 it was I believe it wasn't no it was a 14 inch drill bit that was only like four inch or a half an inch in diameter and what else did I get oh just clear silicone to um, put it in his mouth to hold the tube in place and down by his bottom to hold it in place in his bottom because I ended up going through his bottom and not through his gen genitalia because I did not want to mess it up so Lexi Rose took a skewer and actually pushed it from the bottom of the baby up through into its throat and then she took um I believe it was like a metal straw and put the tubing in it and pushed it through and then pulled it out through his mouth well my husband and I had also done research and we saw where someone had used a drill bit to actually drill through the silicone and supposedly it was easier well we did that we actually drilled through and it worked we drilled from his bottom all the way up to I bent his neck back till right there then we took the skewer and we put the tubing on it and bent it over and shoved it from the bottom all the way up and then whenever we got up to where there was a hole we let it go and I pulled the tubing out of his mouth and I left a piece about that long out of his mouth and out of his bottom and I siliconed inside his mouth around the tube and down here at the bottom and I let that set overnight for 24 hours then the next day I came back with a pair of scissors and I opened his mouth and cut the tubing and then down here by his bottom I cut the tubing like all the way up to um, right next to the silicone for his bottom and so that is how Jonah became a drink and wet and yes he does work I will show you guys again. I know I just did a video, but let me see if I can do this without knocking everything over. I have you guys on a tripod, but so he does drink a bottle and he does wet his diaper. And so there you go. There's the bubbles. That means he's drinking. I haven't had any problem with him. Um, I have used real expired baby formula. Please do not jump all over me. Not a real baby can use it because it is clearly years old. I have used water with cornstarch in it. And I have used water with one drop of yellow dye to make it look like apple juice. And I have used plain water. And usually when I do a feeding video with Jonah, I will feed him whatever formula or water or apple juice or orange juice or whatever that I'm going to feed him on camera. Then whenever I'm finished filming, I go and I fill the bottle with about two ounces of pretty hot water, not scolding, but what I can touch. And I feed him that and it cleans out his tubing. And the reason that I got refrigerator tubing instead of using the um, aquarium pump tubing was because I had read that possibly if you feed them things other than water, the tubing can mold. But I had read numerous articles on the refrigerator tubing that you use for your ice maker that that will not mold 
And so that is why I chose to do the refrigerator tubing instead of the aquarium tubing. And I did not film the process of making him into a drink and wet for the simple fact that it would have shown bits and pieces of him that YouTube does not like. So I decided not to film the process um, I did have people come to me after I did it because I think Jonah's been a drinking wet now for I want to say at least six or seven months maybe eight and um, I have had people say you know you should have filmed it it would have got a lot of views and things like that but I just chose not to because I did not want anything happening to my channel because I'm trying to build my channel up with the babies and so that you guys is the story of how jonah became a drink and wet i also wanted to come on and welcome all the new subscribers i have picked up lots and lots of new people i want to say welcome and thank you for subscribing i hope that you enjoy my channel and my content a big huge thank you to all of those who have been around for a long time and have stuck with me and watched my videos and comment. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate each and every one of you. We are super, super close to my goal for my giveaway. We only need a few more people. I think the last time I checked, we needed about five people, guys. And once I hit that, I will make an official video for the giveaway where you can enter. When I do make that video, it will probably run for a couple of weeks so that that way everyone has a chance to enter because the prize is a good one. So we are so close, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of those, all of those channels who have given me shout outs and mentioned me in their channel. I know it helps and I truly, truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So there you have it, you guys. Jonah's having his late night snack. You can see the bubbles by his little mouse. So I think that's going to do it for today. I will pause you and I will come back on and either insert a picture of his wet diaper. And I'm just going to show the little line on his diaper, guys, because like I said, I do not show his parts on camera so there you have it that is how my Jonah my Ivita silicone became a drinking wet and you can see he's drinking his bottle as we speak well guys that's gonna do it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching it and listening to my long-winded story as much as Jonah and I enjoyed making it for you and until next time, bye guys. Okay guys, so I am back and I have Jonah's onesie undone so that I can show you guys. It'll just be a faint line because I did not feed him a whole lot. Um, I only fed him an ounce of water. These are the yellow lines on the diaper that everyone knows that indicates whenever there's wetness, it will turn like a green or a blue. And when it's dry, it's yellow. And like I told you, I put Jonah's drinking wet at the at his bottom under here, not in the front because I did not want to ruin him. So I'm going to lift him up and show you. And there is the green. There you have it. He wet his diaper. So Jonah needs to be changed. All right, guys. Until next time.